The wildfire battle continues in Malibu, but some semblance of normalcy is back. Thanks for joining us for the KTLA 5 News at Noon. I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Lou Parker. Utility crews have managed to restore power to most areas impacted by the Franklin fire. But it is still a tough fight to get the flames under control. KTLA's Omar Lewis is in Malibu with the very latest. Hi, Omar. Yeah, good afternoon. We are here on Zuma Beach where officials will be giving a news conference and an update here in a matter of minutes. You can see them setting everything up, the fire map behind them here as they get ready to provide another update. We do know that today has been favorable for firefighters because of lower wind speeds as well as a little rain that we've been experiencing here in this area. Want to take you to the video and tell you that the last update that we received yesterday since Monday night, the Franklin fire has burned more than 4,000 thousand acres here in Malibu fueled by relentless Santa Ana winds with only 7% containment as of this morning. That number may go up here in just a matter of minutes when we receive that update, but nine structures have been destroyed and six more were damaged. No injuries were reported. We know over 1,500 firefighters from more than a dozen federal, state, and local agencies were working around the clock to combat these flames. Mandatory evacuation orders remain in effect for 6,300 residents residents with the Santa Monica Malibu Unified School District building on 4th Street serving as an evacuation shelter. We know the Calabasas Community Center has since shut down earlier today. Pepperdine University remains under lockdown at this time with roads leading to the campus still closed. And while the winds have begun to die down, conditions out here are becoming more favorable. Again, with those uh, lower wind speeds and some rain that we're seeing, firefighters saying it could be several days though before this fire is fully contained first responders are working to get residents back into their homes as quickly as possible and this community is really banding together because of this fire we just met two men who work on the pepperdine university campus who've been here since tuesday providing food for first responders take a listen we actually drove through the fire to get back in here it was about 1 a.m. maybe on Monday or whatever day it was. We've been here since long hours, but thank God for the firefighters, everybody who got here on time to put it out. And the fire department, all those people doing an amazing job. So our job was to really make sure that everybody was like feeling that they have the place that they can come together and, and feel, you know, loved and, and, and helped. So that's what we did. want to show you the evacuation area impacted by this fire evacuation orders are still in place for Malibu and surrounding neighborhoods are under an evacuation warning as of this morning Topanga Canyon Boulevard has since reopened PCH remains closed between Tuna Canyon Road and Canaan Road at this point back out here live investigators will still be working to try to figure out the cause of this fire again we're expecting this news conference to happen in the next few minutes they tell us they're running just a few minutes behind but of course we will bring this news conference to you live as soon as it begins that's the latest for now here reporting live from malibu i'm omar lewis we'll send it back to you in the studio omar thank you all right let's check in with liberty uh wind's a big part of this and i'm mm -hmm. looking behind you and i'm seeing uh, some winds kicking up yeah it is a mountains. little bit breezy out there we do have a wind advisory posted not for the area in malibu where that fire is burning but certainly we are seeing some gusty winds out there live look outside where we also are seeing just a little bit of sunshine a lot of cloud cover out there the main story today is cooler conditions cloudy conditions mostly cloudy conditions out there and uh we are going to uh, have the possibility of rain in the forecast here is a look at where that wind advisory has been posted so our mountain communities our desert communities and also uh, Santa Barbara County as well as along the coast in and around Malibu but it doesn't look like uh, that wind advisory is posted for that area where that fire is burning uh, moderate air out there mostly because of the fire all that smoke and ash still in the air area of low pressure this is our big weather maker sitting to the north of us now we're catching the tail end of this cold front and that's why we're not going to see a whole lot of rain out there if we do see some rain 
not really going to be measurable amounts, but we could see a little bit of uh, uh, a little bit of precip um, in the overnight hours. But we'll keep our eye on that. Meantime, uh, tomorrow we're going to have a lot more sunshine. We'll keep it on the cool side, maybe a degree or two warmer tomorrow. And then once again, area of low pressure sitting to the north of us that's going to move through the region on Saturday, bringing us that possibility of some rain. And that system on Saturday is going to be a stronger system compared to today's uh, where we are again seeing a lot of cloud cover out there but not a whole lot of rain today but we could see some measurable amounts of rain anywhere up to a tenth of an inch all the way up to a quarter of an inch of rain on Saturday uh, 60s for the most part and uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and toss it back to you for now My name is Lucas Spellman, CAL FIRE INFORMATION OFFICER, TEAM 4. Now for our first speaker, 